All right, number 13 to 14, use the following information. Okay, a Toyota Prius hybrid motors has an input of 80 kilowatts. The motor pushes the car with the force of 3000 Newton to the velocity of 20 meters per second. The question says, what is the efficiency of this car? So we know that efficiency would equals power output divided by power input. Okay, now to calculate the power output, we'll use the formula force multiplied by velocity. Since we know the input, this is the input. So we just put here 80 kilowatts. So just go with K and force here, 3000. You can go with 3K, multiply with the velocity, which is 20 divided by 80 kilowatts. Now this and this cancels, this and this cancels. Basically you're left with 6 over 8 or 3 quarter. 3 quarter means 0 0.75. So the answer for this would be C. Number 14. Number 14 is still related to the value we have figured out. The question says, what is the rate of energy expelled as heat and friction? Basically, they're asking for how much energy lost or how much power is lost in the system. We know the efficiency is 0 0.75. So the loss will equals to 1 minus the useful. Okay, in this case, the loss is 0 0.25 or the quarter, one quarter of the input. Since we know the input is 80 kilowatts, multiply this with 1 over 4. You will get the rate of energy lost. In this case, we're getting 20 kilowatts. So the answer will be B. All right, number 15. Number 15 says the current in the river flows at the rate of 5 meters per second. The boat is to move 3 kilometers through the river in 2 minutes. The question say what speed should the boat be moving and in which direction? Now, when you see a question like this, first draw out. Let's say this is the river. This is where the boat is at and we are to move three kilometer okay so i want to move three kilometer okay let's see if we are on the boat and i switch off the engine the current on the river will push my boat forward in this case we know the rate of flow of the current five meters per second we would like to calculate the distance. So let's say speed equal distance over time. The distance that I'm going to be pushed will be speed multiplied by the time. So the speed here is the speed of the current, which is five multiplied by time. Time here, don't forget to convert it into seconds. Okay, so it will be two times 60. Okay, if I multiply all this out, I'm getting 600 meter, which means with the help of the current in two minutes, I'll be moving 600 meter, or you can just say 0 0.6 kilometer. I'm left with the distance that I have to use my engine to help me, which is 2.4 kilometer. The engine of the boat have to push the boat forward. Now, how fast should I set the engine? Okay, let's find the distance. What I'll do is, I'll take the distance left over. Okay, speed equals distance left over. In this case, I'll convert it to meter divided by the time that I'm allowed it to travel, which is in seconds. Two minutes will be 120 seconds. So the speed the boat should be moving or should be operated at is 20 meters per second with the help of the current. So in this case, it will be D. 
Okay, let's look at number 16. Number 16 says, if the distance between the earth and the moon is triple, what effect will it have on the gravitational force between them? All right, we know that force is actually inversely proportional to the distance squared. In this case, you can go with this F1 times R1 square. That should give you the same value as F2 times R2 squared. Okay. Now, I will just put an assumption that the force between the Earth and the Moon is F. Okay. And the radius, let me just take a value of 1. 1 squared equals, I am trying to find this new value, F2, times the radius. The second radius means you triple the distance. Triple, meaning this, you multiply the value of 1 by 3. It will be 3 squared. If I simplify out, I'm getting F2 should equals to F1 divided by 9. This means it will decrease by 1 over 9. 